Hey guys, what we're looking at here is the All American 941 pressure canner. It's definitely, I would say, the best canner you can get for the money, even though it is probably the most expensive canner that you can get for the money. <laughs> um, this one's just like all the other All American canners, except it's bigger. Um, you have the weighted gauge on it just like the other All-American canners so you can set the pressure at 5, 10, or 15 pounds. Um, the lid, there's no gasket between the pot and the lid. It's just a metal on metal seal rather than having like a rubber gasket. Um, this one's made uh, here in the States in Wisconsin. I believe it's called the Wisconsin Aluminum Foundry, something like that. Um, obviously, them being an aluminum foundry, the canner is made of aluminum. The thickness of the metal on it is right at, I would say, right above um, a quarter of an inch. I think they advertise the thickness being at a quarter of an inch, which is far thicker than I think you'd find on the Presto canners or other canners. Um, it's got a pressure dial on it so you, you got another way of I guess keeping track of what's going on in the canner and it's also got one of those rubber gaskets that sit in the lid and if the pressure gets too high because the uh, pipe is blocked under the uh, weighted gauge that rubber should pop out and release the pressure in the tank so the canner doesn't crack or explode or something. Um, even the third layer of foolproofness on this one is, um, I believe most people say that if the um, canner, given there's no gasket, this metal on metal seal will deform and release the pressure too if the um, weighted gauge, for some reason, the pipe under there got blocked and for some reason the rubber gasket that is supposed to shoot out on overpressure if that got blocked then I guess the next fail safe would be that the lid would that seal would break the it would deform and let the pressure out so these things are relatively safe obviously if you're an idiot, you probably could hurt yourself, but um, for the average person, <laughs> perfectly safe. Um, this one is the only model with these little handles on each side. Um, I believe the handles are made of the same bake-like type plastic that the wing nuts are made of. Um, as far as capacity, the reason either a small family like my wife and I's where it's um, just the two of us so we mainly can pint jars because that's a reasonable portion size for us is uh, between the 921 canner and the 941 canner um, there's no increase in the amount of pint jars I believe that you can fit in them whereas um, the number of quart jars I think this is double of the next size smaller between the um, 921 and the 941 so this is I guess the best model for both small and large families because of the amount of pint jars you can fit in it and the number of quart jars you can fit in it and those the intermediary size I think there's a 925 and a 935 or a 931 um, those canners don't I don't think they offer any advantage in the amount of pint jars you can fit in it but there are small increases in the number of quart jars you can fit in it this canner fits um two rows of quart jars so that's a, a nice advantage too. It comes with um, some metal uh, shelves rather than aluminum shelves on the other 
uh, canners. The shelves, one sits, stands off the bottom a little bit, and then the other shelf sits on top of the first layer of cans. Um, other than that, I guess the biggest consideration is if you can fit it on the top of your stove and still have a good amount of clearance above it to get the lid on and off while it's on your stove. Um, I know in my setup here I have a, a microwave range hood so it's a limiting factor. I can't use this canner on my stove. I have to use it on a turkey fryer burner um, which isn't a big deal at all and I think most people I'm I'm on the side of with my kitchen set up where the clearance between the stove and the bottom of my microwave range hood is on the lowest amount of size the lowest size allowed by code so I think most people probably actually have more clearance and this might fit just fine but um yeah thanks for watching bye